Hi everyone, welcome back to the craft room. So today we are going to do a spoiler for the Crafter's Companion Advent Calendar. So this I got, it was, retail price was supposed to be £80. I got it for £40 in the birthday sale plus I got my discount off it as well. So what we're going to do is I have my daughter with me and we are going to open this up. Um, so don't watch from this point forward if you don't want to know what's in it. And uh, at the end I'll be able to, or what I'll do is I'll put in the notes below whether or not I think it is worth £80. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is... I'm going to hand it over and Kate is going to open box number one and then we're going to hopefully be able to demonstrate with it um, whatever it is, whether it's a stamp or a die or whatever and we'll show you how it works. What is it? It looks like a butterfly die. So we've got a tiny little butterfly die. So let me get, I've got a bit of card here. Um, I'm going to run this through and then Kate will open box number two. Okay. I just find this interesting as a non-crafter of all these things. I know, Kate's not a crafter at all, so um, unless it's wool, she's... Okay, hang on, didn't quite cut there. There we go. Let me just poke this out. All oh, right, so it's one of the ones where you've got the separate rim around the edge of the wings. So you can fold it up. So it can be a bit more three dimensional. So it's a cute little butterfly. I don't know if we've got too many butterflies. Um, there are little holes there. There we go. So that is box number one. I'm going to put that to the side. And see, box number two is little love heart stamps. How cute is that? Now, cute can also be fiddly and small. So let's just have a look at how they stamp out. So here I've got my little block. So they're like actual little love hearts. These would be really nice in like pastel colours, wouldn't they? Because that's yeah. the colour of a laptop of a love heart. Right, here we go. So it says, love you, be mine, and true love. There we go. Very much like a, a love like heart, sweet. sweetie. Yeah. So I think they're lovely. That would look great um, if it was done in pastel colours. And uh, actually, um, I'm just thinking that that inside a jar, a mason jar type thing, or a jar would be nice as well. I was actually at the wedding recently when they gave us a little miniature love heart sweetie roll as a wedding favour. Oh nice. But something like that maybe sitting on the place cards or yeah. something that would match yeah. with it. Make it a theme. Okay so there we have number two. Oh number three is a stencil. So let me get another colour. Now, this is unusual because last year in the or the year before in the advent calendar it really was just stamps uh, just dies that we got so let me just show you this there is a strip there that's not out so i like the fact that in the first three days we've got three separate different things right 
I'll show you this one. Use my wee brushes here. I'm not going to tape it down just to keep it easy. This is actually really nice because an awful lot of the time stencils are bigger. So this could be good to incorporate it perhaps on an ETC. I just moved it there. Yeah, perhaps on an ETC or um, in a small card. I keep moving it. I should have taped it down. Okay. There you go. Very nice. And it's actually quite sturdy, so it's not too flimsy at all. So that was number three. Okay, the next one has confused me slightly. Why? <laughs> because, okay, you've got this, uh -huh. and under, there's almost like a sweetie advent calendar, there's a layer of plastic, but then uh -huh. under that, it's almost like it's got metal versions. What's on the other side? On, on, on the other side of the box. Is there a door there? There's a big 24 that might Christmas be Eve. No, there, no it, this is in front of that, but this matches the shapes of those stamps. How can you pull it out? I, I can't. This is the thing is that I can't get it out. Pokey tool. It's like it's sitting underneath the plastic. So, can, we, so we might need to get it later. We've got a double layer. Oh, I know what it is. So this is a dragonfly. Mm -hmm. But it's sitting under the plastic mm -hmm. and I can't get purchase to get it well, out. We'll have to trash the actual box later. Okay, so this is a dragonfly. And let me just take this one off. So we stamp the wings there. And then we... The body there, and it looks as if it there's a die that matches the wings, um, but it's underneath the plastic on the advent calendar. So we'll trash the advent calendar box later to get into it. There is the Christmas Eve hole behind it, so I might be able to get into it from the back. Okay. okay. Number five. Number five is a parcel. Let me get my little dye machine. The other thing about this year's advent calendar is that it has, um, it's got a very large box for the back. Um, yeah, it's almost a full size. Yeah, I think it's an E6. I think they said there was a paper pad in it. So, let's just see this. I'm trying not to cheat and look behind. Okay. So, I need... Oh, I figured out. Got it. There's the metal bits of the dragonfly. I've never had a more complicated advent calendar in my life. I know. So, this is a two part die. I'm just using scrap paper here. And. This is number five and it is a two-part layering die and there you have it for your parcel. That would be really nice with red and silver or gold, very Christmassy for that one. Now, while I'm here, this is the die set for the dragonfly. Number four. 
So that's number four. So you got a stamp and die set. That is actually really good for um, just getting in an advent calendar. So number six is another stamp. It's quite a big stamp. I didn't expect the stamps to be this big. It's actually too wide. Let's have a look and see. Wow, that's a good one. That's a nice stamp. It stamps really cleanly, it stamps really well. That is a nice stamp. So happy with that. We could do lots with that actually. I'll tell you, number seven is a bonus if you survive the first week of December. Seven. Oh, it's another stamp and die. Right, let's have a look at this then. So, I really didn't expect stamp and die sets. No, and you know it's not dropped down because it's all kind of foil sealed under the door. So I don't think it can slip down from the one above it or anything like that. There we go. There's one pumpkin. That is such a shame because, well, pumpkins are going to be before you open your advent calendar unless you do what I do. What what number was this, Kate? That was number seven. So number seven is an autumn. I'm just going to stop it on there. And so you've had this advent calendar in previous years? Yes. The advent calendar before was, what, £20, £25? And so when it came out this year at 80, I was really not sure if I would buy it. Um, I was really not sure if I was willing to go that high yeah, that's a jump. Um, for it. But then it was on sale, um, half price, and then you get your craft club discount off it. So I paid, I don't know, 30 odd pound maybe. So... But I really like the fact that there's stamps and dies. Because how many times do we just get loads of stamps and you end up fussy cutting? So. So that was seven. Seven. This is eight. <laughs> Look at eight. Again, a stencil and a die. Unfortunately, would be better for an October yeah, again, Halloween advent yeah, calendar. Again, this would be definitely more Halloween. Let's see if we can do the stencil. I've got lots of um, scrap paper here because I've been doing more memory books and uh, more wedding things. So I'm just trying to use up all the scrap paper for that. I think the die looks a lot bigger on the spider than the stencil yeah, is. So I thought a crafting advent calendar would just be glitter sequins. <laughs> no. That's maybe what's in the twenty fourth is it's just a big pile of glitter. I'm gonna see if um let's just die cut the spider and see what's in here. Well, based on what I've seen so far, I definitely think it was it's definitely a lot higher value than the one last year. Definitely. The one thing I will say is it's a wee bit because they put almost like a little layer of cellophane between each element in the window, mm -hmm. it can be a bit awkward to get into the bit that's sitting below. 
right. like I had the problem with the dragonfly, it can be right. to find the corner or the edge to lift it up. Okay, so there we have it. I'll just lift it up. That's the spider dry, uh, die cut in silver. So that's really cute actually for a spider. So yeah, great. The last two would be great for Halloween. Um, definitely. Okay, wow. We've got another stamp and die set. And this time it is a champagne flute. Let me just stamp this up. So how do you store your stamp and die sets? Because I've got my stamps in one place and my dies in the other. And I don't have that many stamp and die sets. So um, yeah, there's a lot of stamp and die sets here and I'm wondering how would be the best way for keeping them all together. Uh, at the moment, if I have a stamp, the stamps are kept in a folder and if there's a die going to that stamp, I just slip it in the poly pocket behind it. But we have got one, two, three, four stamp and die sets out of nine yep. already. So, and they're small. Um, if I put them in the magnetic sheets that I have for my dies, I don't know how the stamps would stick. So there we go. That's another one. Stampin' Number dies. 10. Oh, look at this. It's a wee embossing folder. Have I got some coloured card? Oh, no. got some scrap card in the drawer behind me so I'll just cut this this would actually do well for gift tags I just need to get another plate for the embossing folder see if this will work yeah. Oh, love it. That is a really good embossing folder. Looks good on both sides. We could always put some silver over that to bring out the texture. That was really good for Christmas gift tags. Where are we now? What are we up to? We're going on to number 11 now. Number 11. Another stamp and die set. Wow. Okay. We're nearly halfway through. How are you feeling about what you've had so far? <laughs> I think it's awesome. I'm thinking I'm going to have to get a new section of storage for sets. stamp and die sets. Um, let's have a look at this. Oh. So the little bird stamp just stamps the outline and not the feet or things. Let me just put that on there. We'll just cut these ones out since we've got them. Now, now, here's the thing. Do we know that that's straight? How do we know? We just have to hope. That is straight. Yeah, I definitely think that so far we've got more in terms of value 
Not sure about the £80 price mark though, to be honest. But for halfway. For halfway, it's, yeah. I'm not sure. Okay, so there we have, let me put it against this background, a little bird house, a little bird, I'll be able to see it against this background here. So there you go. That is cute. I don't know how much of this is going to be the same used by me in terms of you know going forward quite often we'll pull out sets of things and um, work with the set rather than pull out a whole load of individual little bits of things to put together let me know what your thoughts are on that um, Or, you know, we could gift these things, whether it's in Happy Mail or are you likely to keep them or would you um, give them away? Okay, speaking of Happy, yeah, for number 12. Number 12 is Happy. It's the word. It's a little die. Let me just cut it out for you. Now that one had slipped, so I did need to pull the corner of the advent calendar up to find that oh, one. Really? I think because it's so thin. Oh wow, look how fine that is. Let me get a bit of coloured card. Look how fine that font is. It's a nice font. Well, keep that bit of paper uh -huh. for number 13. It says birthday. So you get happy one day, birthday the next day. Yeah, nice font, a bit footery, um, quite a good size though. And one of the things that I like is where the dot on the eye is kept on the word, it's not separate so. Yeah, happy one day and birthday the next day. I think we'll just file them together. Okay. Number 14. 14. It's a little Valentine embossing folder. I think based on, I'm starting to figure out the pattern here. Right. Based on sizes, we've got at least two more embossing folders. Okay. Based on the doors. Again, I think this size and the fact that it's, it's just a, a love heart background embossing folder it would be nice for a gift tag it's not going to fit on a card but it's a decent emboss it's not peely wally it's pretty thick again I think if you were to put some color on the outside of that do some letter press maybe that would help the love heart stand out. So that's another cute little embossing folder. Number 15. 
This is okay. the it is. So number 15 is a stamp and I'm looking at it and I'm wondering if we're going to get another one where it's... No, I thought that, but when you look at it closely, it's not. Oh, good trick. So let me just show you this one. So it says sending and I'm thinking, okay, where's the next word? But it is on the bottom of it. It's already there. Here we go. Sending and then at the bottom, lots of love. Again, I'm thinking gift tags. Um, be nice to actually as a little card in flowers or something. Yeah, yeah. So there's that one. Sending is that one. Okay. Number 16. Okay, we have another stencil that says Merry Christmas. There's my little pad and my brush. Now I'll try and tape it down because I've got a little tape here. This one you could put on the inside of a Christmas card, maybe as a sentiment. Um, you know, once this tape, once this stencil's taped down, even though there's some thin parts on it, they're not flexing as I'm rubbing on it. So they're they're sturdy enough. They're definitely sturdy enough. Here we go. Here's Merry Christmas and a little tree. What number was that? That was number 16. Wow. Lots to go. Okay, so we have another embossing folder. So let me just cut out a bit of card. put my ink away before it dries up. So I know I should actually be doing this one at a time, but part there's two reasons for me not doing it. Well, there's probably more than two reasons. One is that I really wanted to be able to say hand on heart if I recommended to buy this at £80 or not. And the other one is that I just can't keep a secret. I'm just rubbish at, you know, keeping secrets and I can't wait. Even if I'm giving someone a present, I'm always asking them, do you want me to tell you what it is? Do you want a clue? Do you not remember yes. me doing that? Do you want a clue? Even Have though we a guess. were never allowed to open our advent calendars early. <laughs> This one doesn't have such as a deep and embossing, but again, I think that would be nice with some gilding wax and um, for a little gift tag. I quite like this next one. Okay. I think it's quite cute. Oh. <laughs> so this is another stamp and die set. And it is a dandelion clock with a die. So I actually have another stamp and die set, which is a little girl blowing. And you've got a dandelion clock and balloons and bubbles and things. So this would actually go well with that. Let me just make sure I've got the ink on it all. Yeah, it's quite dark, isn't it, when it stamps? Mm. Oh, that moved. Let's see how... No, it 
just moved a little bit, but nice size, I think. Nice size, nice idea. I would definitely put that with the one that I've got uh, because I think you could use that. There's a lot of them have got, I think actually Phil Martin has got some uh, dandelion clocks where the seeds are coming out separate. So that would be, again, you could use that with this as well. So we've got, I've lost, I've lost count. That was number 19. Oh, we're getting close. No, sorry, that was 18. I've got 19 here. Okay. Okay. 19 is a little deconstructed flower. I don't know what to say about this, to be honest. Um, I have got quite a lot of flower dyes. I'm sure you do as well. Um, and I don't know whether I like the ones that are... Um, sort of all in one rather than lots of little bits that you have to try and pull together so pokey chill but that's tiny So there you go. I'm not sure about the leaf. I'm not sure about the leaf, how that bit's cut out. Um, big hole in the middle. Might be good for paper piecing, actually. We could definitely do paper piecing here. I was going to say, it's almost like a decoupage thing where it's like a layering. Yeah, or... but then the big hole in the middle, not sure. Not sure about that one. Tell me what you think. I think paper piecing, that's what's coming to mind. But let's see. So that is, oh, my desk is just a mess. Number 19. Okay. Number 20. Number 20 is a big floral, thanks. There was also another thing in the 20 bit. I'm not sure if it slipped out of another one because it doesn't seem to have anything to do with that one. Oh, really? what it's just it? a random little love heart die. Oh, it might fit on here. No, I didn't see where it could. But oh, do you know what? Oh, was, was that with the... Yes. Yeah, it slipped up because yeah. the love hearts were below that one. There you go. So that is number so one. Two. Number two was a stamp and die set with a love hearts in it. Yeah. That is really nice. So yeah, there is a little it only seems to be the dies that are slipping Slip, out of yeah. place. Um even the stencils which are quite thin are staying where they should. Okay. So, there is the next. What number is this? That was 20. 20 is a rubber stamp. So, it could be nice to colour in. I would stamp it probably not in black because the, the lettering is all in black. But that's that one. Number 21. 21 is another stencil. I like that they're including stencils. You know, a lot of people that I know maybe don't have a lot of stencils. I don't, I have a lot of stencils, but I don't necessarily use them as well as I could or as often as I could. Um, stencils and embossing folders, I do... Uh, I try and use them more now. Um, this is like a 
you could use this for birthdays, you could use it for anniversaries, um, obviously New Year, um, engagements even. So any sort of opportunity to have champagne and sparkles. Which is really anytime. Anytime. Even if it's just Friday and we're finishing work, that's... There you go. So that's that stencil. I quite like that. Again, I tend to be, I'm thinking gift tags is probably the size of all these things is... I have to say that would be good on an invite. Yeah. 22? Okay, 22 actually looks as if it's quite similar to the thanks stamp. Have a look at this floral image. There's a bit of a tattoo for the back as well. You notice I'm just using my cutting plate. So that's probably why it didn't stamp properly, but it's quite a good size, isn't it? And then if you bring in the thanks one, similar pick, similar flowers, similar floral. So you might be able to combine that. I've lost it now. So the stamps are pretty big. Honestly, so far, I think my favourite stamp is the cake. Can you see it there? That's my favourite stamp so far. That is just a stamp, not the stamps and dies. We're on to number 23 now. Okay. Looks like our final embossing folder. I need a bit of card. Here we go. So I really splashed out and I have got another advent calendar, which I kind of ordered by mistake. I didn't think it was going to be as big or as expensive as it was, but I've ordered the Body Shop Christmas Advent Calendar. They do three sizes. Last year, I gave my daughter and daughter-in-law um, the middle size one, and they really, really enjoyed it. So this year, I was like, yeah, yeah, just give me the big one. And it came, and it's enormous, and it is expensive. But it's full size. Apparently the products you get are full size. So I'm keeping that for my advent. I'm not going to cheat with that one. Okay, there it is. Lovely foliage background. Um, nice embosser there. I've kept the back for you. Is this the last day? This is the last day. Okay. We've made it through advent. We've done it. This is Christmas Day. Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. We're about to have our turkey. No, get the turkey. We're about to have champagne. <laughs> and sparkles. Peel the sprouts. Put the pigs in their blankets. And here we are. Look at that. Wow. Look at this. It is a full 6x6 six six paper pad. Thank you. Look at this. Three of each design, single sided. Nice images, that's nice. Lots of text and background. Well, that is really nice. So, this would cost you what would you say? A tenner? Wow, just for the notebook? I think so. A, a six by six crafter's companion. Thirty six page six by six, and it's 
thick say, paper. Thick. Yeah, it's thick paper. It's not card, but it's good paper. And the designs are just lovely. The birds in a magnolia there. So, yeah, that is really good. So there you have it, everybody. This is what is in the Crafters Companion 2021 Advent Calendar. Now, do I think it's worth £80? I'm going to say no, because some of the collections that they sell, you know, when you've got your um, craft vault shows, when you've got your special offer shows, you can get a really good collection for that. I got the Autumn collection, which you'll see the video for the most recent video I did was the Autumn collection. And I think I spent £86, was either £86 or £68. And I got the full collection 12 by 12 A4 and A6. So I think you can get a collection for this amount of money with more things in it and it has a theme that's the thing about the collections but for 30 odd pounds yes i was going to say if you could get discount on it or yeah. get it in a sale or get a special offer yeah i don't think it's worth 80 because i think you could choose a collection better i'm really pleased that they've included stamps and dies that is definitely a set uh, a step up for them uh, I do think the size of the stamps are good as well. Some of these, like this one, as Katie was saying, it, it's like a tattoo. It's got a theme to it. Um, and so it gives you lots of flexibility. And the stencils are something a bit new. The stencils are new. Um, they're small in my head because of the size. I'm thinking either ATCs, twinches. What size is it? Hang on. Yeah. Yeah. Two and a half by two and a half, roughly, inches. So you could use these for ATCs and twinches, definitely. Love the fact that they've got the wee spider as a die cut and things like that. So there we go. That's quite a long video today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's helped if you're trying to make your mind up. There may be things that you think are absolutely awesome and things that you would love to have. There's one, two, three, four embossing folders alone. Mm -hmm. um, one, two, three, four stencils alone. And then there is uh, two, three, four, maybe four or five stamp and die sets plus a full size A6 paper pad. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know your thoughts as usual down below. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.